Greetings and salutations, young true believers. So today, uh, the article we're considering is Henry Shue's Basic Rights. And though this article is a bit old, it was written in 1980, it's still very relevant. So the basic distinction that Shu wants to challenge in this argument is, is, a, is that there's a difference between what are known as positive rights and negative rights. Very briefly, a positive right is a right in which uh, someone must do something to alter uh, your situation, right? Uh, a negative right is simply uh, a right in which they don't have to do anything. They just simply have to leave you alone, right? So what she wants to do is argue that, look, there's a difference between, uh, there, excuse me, there is no difference, is, is what I meant to say. There is no difference between what is known as a security right, like, for example, the right to uh, be secure in your person and your property, and a subsistence right, namely a right to food, clothing, adequate shelter, clean air, clean water, right? It's often argued that the government has a duty to provide for security rights, which are uh, negative rights, and no duty or, or very minimal obligation to uh, provide for uh, uh, subsistence rights. And what, what Shu wants to do, he tells us here, page 302, I will try to show that security rights are more positive than they're often said to be, and that subsistence rights are more negative than they're often said to be. And given these two uh, aspects, the third aspect emerges, right? Namely, that the distinction between security rights and subsistence rights, although they're not entirely illusory, right? And he's not saying they're, they're, they're complete illusions, right? Um, they're far too fine to support any weighty conclusions, especially the very weighty conclusion that security rights are basic and subsistence rights are not. And he notes, this is a, this is a critique that he's oftentimes made with respect to the United States government. The assumption is, again, that the United States government or any local uh, or state governments have no obligation to provide for subsistence. Uh, that, again, is a very dubious uh, argument and it's based on some pretty flimsy uh, premises, right? So to to back up his claims, this is page 307. Uh, he, he tells us, top of page 307, I want to suggest that with every basic right, three types of duties correlate. One, there are duties to avoid depriving. Two, there are duties to protect from deprivation. And three, duties to aid the deprived. This might be easier to see, he tells us, in the case of a more familiar basic right, the right to physical security. Again, the right to not be assaulted or uh, attacked or have any other kind of physical harm uh, directed toward you, right? He tells us, for every person's right to physical security, there are three correlative duties. You have a duty not to eliminate a person's security. You have duties to protect people against deprivation of security by other people and duties to provide for the security of those unable to provide for their own. So uh, the very elderly, children, um, the disabled, etc. Now, for every right to subsistence, there are duties not to eliminate a person's only available means of subsistence, duties to protect people against deprivation of the only available means of subsistence by other people, and three duties to provide for the subsistence of those unable to provide for their own. And he notes, if this suggestion is correct, the common notion that rights can be divided into rights to forbearance, that is, negative rights, and as if some rights have correlative duties only to avoid depriving, and rights to aid, positive rights, as if some rights have correlative duties only to aid. He concludes this is thoroughly misguided, right? We have a positive right to keep our persons, that is to say our citizens, right, in security, uh, and not just the, the immediate physical security of, of not being attacked, but also to keep them in a state in which they are not deprived of the necessities of life. 